Hello everyone, it's Elgin. Welcome to my channel. So today we're working on some really quick and simple winter scenes, you know, using wet on wet and wet on dry in certain areas. We're doing a mountainous scene and a simple winter tree scene. And these really took no time at all to paint. I go over how to create this, you know, with simple colors and simple brushes. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. You know, sometimes it just, the faster you go and like the simpler you do things, the prettier it looks. That's, that's what I think about something like this. You know, it's just the way you move the paint and, you know, kind of add the little fine touches of the branches and the snow. Also, uh, check out my Patreon. I have ad-free videos, traceables, exclusive tutorials. And on the live stream, on the top tier, it's just a place people go and support my channel, which I appreciate so much. You also get our first dibs on workshops and retreats before the public. So, you know, like I said, it's a place people go and support my channel. So without further ado, let's get started on our fun winter cards. All right, so I'll go over supplies. A piece of Arsh 100% cotton cold pressed paper. It's like a five by seven piece. Uh, I'll be using my Princeton 12 round Aqua Elite and my number six long round Velvet Touch series. Got my palette here with my paints, paper towel, water jars. So this is kind of like a vignette type of look. You're not gonna cover the whole entire piece of paper. And we're gonna be playing around with moving the paper around, right? So the number six is for the detailed work. The number 12 is for all the loose work. So I'm just gonna grab some water and mix up some loose. This is paints gray, very loose. If I want to add a little purple kind of tone to it, I can add a little pink or more blues. This indigo here. I'll put some over here. Let me see if you can see this better. There we go. <laughs> um, I have a little indigo right here. And I'll be playing around with some browns too. So I have my burnt umber kind of loose here. So I'm just going to figure out where I want the kind of horizon line. Either, either one at way up here, middle, or way down below, kind of like hmm, a little below the middle. I'm just going to go across like that. I just drew like a little, little 2 H pencil mark, just across. Don't even have to worry if I get, I don't even draw that. So we're going to just mix up some colors and make a nice little sky. I would actually, like I said, make a little purple. So I have ultra ultramarine blue deep and I have magenta here oops a little too much pink that's all right we can always add more blue to make a purple purpley purple tones let's play around with some colors and even some yellow pink and orangey color with the sky it has many colors to it you know when it gets bright out and light out so I would probably start off with the really light pale yellow tones. As you can see here, that's a little too much orange. That's all right. So here's my middle. I'm just gonna take this brush, kind of go over here a little bit, get a little bit of that yellow orange. I'm gonna clean off my brush. I'm gonna start to grab these blues and grays. Remember, I'm just gonna grab that center area here. I'm just kind of going over here like this. I'm not filling this whole piece of paper in like I told you. Grab my indigo color, watering this down a little bit. Or I can add a little burnt umber to it too, make it a little brown. Just kind of throwing in this color here, a little purple. Whatever feels like you want to play around with, you know, for the, the winter sky. Oops, I have some pigment stuck in there, but you get the idea. So this, this part is, a little pigment, I have to get that out of my brush. This part is wet, very wet, right? And we wanna keep it wet. We're gonna do some bleeding of the color. So it makes like this automatic like color around the tree area. I'm lifting up some color back here. It's really a little purple. Let's change it up a little bit. So now I've got that nice simple sky, darker, less water. Of this paint's gray. I'm just kind of play around with tapping that in, even with some brown, some burnt umber here. See how I'm tapping it? And this is why I use Arsh paper, because it has a great bleed to it. And 
the paint is fairly like wet. It's almost like a milk consistency. And if you want a bit more dark gray, get it even darker with more pigment, less water. Look at that. See a little darker pigment, thicker, less water. Might have a little blue. Tippy tap. And you can kind of lift the paper, go let it go down a little bit. Turn it upside down. See how I'm lifting that? Then you'll see those things go up and down. Look how cool that is. Very layering. So at this point, right, we're going to leave that, let that dry naturally. We're not going to play around with it too much. I'm going to take our big brush again. We're going to start to play with seeing these colors, purples and blues and green and browns. Just kind of take your brush, hold it on, a, on the side a little bit. Leaving this, this is the white snow. See, I'm just kind of leaving that. It's going on an angle. Taking your brush, and then you can see the white snow. I can add a little bit of blue. Kind of over here. Still leave that white in between. Right, a little brown. Grabbing that purple again. See? Leave that little white part to the snow. You can start to play around with adding more color down below here. You can scrape in some rocks, some blues, browns. That was pretty simple, right? Watering it down and just kind of moving that color around. Grab some of my blue, purple, some brown. Filling that in. A little bit of the paint's gray, minimal water. Just kind of tapping it in around. That was pretty quick, right? That right there looks like a great little winter scene. I'm going to grab some indigo and play around with that a little bit. Ooh, kind of move it around. Just the tip of my brush on this 12. Going back up here. I might get a little tight in here, taking this paint's gray, kind of meaning that. I don't want to get too crazy. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Taking this paint's gray, minimal water, and the burnt umber. You can start to play with like maybe some really dry brushing here. You can add a little bit of grass. See? Boop, 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 boop. Coming up over that. This is all play. You can do it so many different ways. I'm going to end adding the paints gray and just kind of moving my brush like this. Grab some blue. Boom. And it's just starting to really dry now. I want that to dry. I'm going to go back in when it's dry and put in some nice little branches and whatnot, you know? I'll take this Payne's Gray, really just hardly any water. Just tap it, little taps, go across like that. We're just making this really simple landscape. I don't even have a picture, I just like playing around with the different things right there. And that's perfect. So now we're going to let this dry, like I said. And we'll come back in and we'll add some trees and a little bit of like rough texture like we just did with this. Like you could do it now, it's gonna bleed and it's not gonna work. It needs to dry. But this is not taking any effort. I mean, we're like basically seven minutes in or five minutes in. Look at that, already pretty card. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna let it dry and come back and we'll do our trees. All right, the fun part, we'll take our number six now. We'll take some really concentrated paints gray. You can add a little brown too if you want to. We're just going to make some simple trees. I'm going to zoom in and show you. From here, we can kind of just like give some grounding. I'll add a little bit of water to it. Just back and forth. A little bit dark color here. And then we're going to go up. And add little branches off that. That's why I like this little tiny brush. I can add all these little branches. I feel like my background dried really light, but that's okay. You can always fill it back in. 
See, on the camera it looks dark, but it's not. <laughs> it's lighter. And you can fix that too. We can add more paint and I'll show you. If you ever wanted to add, like, oh, it dried too light and I really want it darker. Well, once the paint dries, you can go back in with a little bit of clear water. Clear water. See, I'm coming back with the clear water on this little section here. And I'm going to go back in and tap in some dark color. See? I'm boiling this down. Oops. And a little wet. There we go. So you can do it if you want to. See? That's a little darker. Because I feel like this is a little too light. So I might go back in. Add another wash of water here and bleed in more color again. Get a little bit darker, get some brown in here too. Just felt like it was a little too light. It's up to you, it's all preference. And then I'm going to go back and put my trees in. Brown. See, watercolor does dry really light. So you have to play around with it. That's a little brownish color. And I'll play around with this color here. So then we'll have to wait for it to dry again before we go back in and put our trees in. But this part's dry. We can play around with using number six brush if you want to put some grasses in. Now that it's dry, boop, 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 boop. I don't want, I would want to put them everywhere. You can add some blue shadowing. See? I have the uh, indigo, or it could be ultramarine, or even a little peacock or Prussian blue. Just adding little shadows. Try brushing it, going across like that. You see that? Just grabbing some blues, playing around with that. Well, that's drying. I'm maneuvering some of this paint over here. But you see how I did the tree in this one? You can go back up a little more. And put the little teeny twigs in there and then we'll highlight it with some white gouache. So you can't put the lines in these guys yet. So I'm going to wait till that dries and come back. Now I have the color I want. And now I'm just going to add all those little twigs and branches. See, so put the big tree in here. Adding all the little twigs that go with it. branches. Same thing with the ones over here. This is like the fun therapeutic park. P P therapeutic part. <laughs> again, sorry, I can't speak. Uh, tongue tied there. You just do all these little branches. Do, 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 do. And then when you finish all those, we'll come back. See so my like little tree branches there. It's a nice one here. It's a little still wet on that side, but that's okay. But this is really simple, just like the other one I did before with the tree. Go in and grab this. This is a very thick kind of paint here. Adding all these little branches. This takes time, but it's fun. You can do as many trees as you feel like. Just gonna do a few in here. And all those little funky branches. This when you sit down and you play with some music. Put all the little twigs in there. Okay, once that's all done, we'll take some white gouache, just add a little water to it. Can't see this in the camera because it's over, way over here in my palette, but you know it's there. So I'm gonna water it down and grab it on my brush. Just a little bit, not too much water because you wanna make it kind of opaque. And then you can run the white kind of right in front 
see how it shows up on the branch right in front of the branch in some areas and now you can see it just a little bit just a little touch either on front on the left side I'm doing a little front on the left side here highlighting some of the branches that you did even the tree itself not everywhere you just want a little bit especially in the dark areas and now you can see the tree see Go all the way down to the bottom of the trunk. Whoops, that's a little too much, but that's all right. And if you want to add snow, add snow. Feel free to do that. See how you just add a little bit of that white gouache and just highlights those branches, and then you can really see them. This one is a little bit wet. I'm highlighting this one. Just a little goes a long way. Boom. And you can see the tree branches. And if you want a little snow, add a little snow. Doesn't hurt to splatter a little bit of snow. And remember, when you splatter with a small brush, you're going to get small little splatches of splotch of whatever splotches. So you watch. Which is perfect for this little snowy card. And this takes no time at all. You can play around a thousand different ways of making a card like this. You can change up the colors a little bit, but really fast, right? Probably less than 10 minutes to make a really pretty snowy card. Simple. That's what it's all about, right? You can do another one that's kind of mountainous. So let's grab another piece of paper real quick. I'll grab my paintbrush. This is one you just, you don't have to draw the mountain. You can just kind of water it in. So it's going to take, you know, think of a triangle. That's a little too thick with the paint, <laughs> too dark. Gray or bluish gray. Making a little triangle here, leaving some white spots for the mountain. Adding a smaller one here. Squeaky noises abound. That's a little wonky. I'll have it come over this way there better. One, two, three. And then I'll just water it down. Coming down this way, I'll add in some brown. Right. You could add a little green, but I want to keep this all kind of blues. Blues and, and all that nonsense. Blues and grays. Adding in some gray. Now, if you cover too much in this mountain, like you see here, play around with a credit card or something to scrape it to get that white back in. It's not going to happen if it's too wet. See, it's going to go right back in it. But you could scrape around some of the areas, and it will look kind of natural to the credit card. I have to get a bigger piece, but that's a small piece of the credit card that I cut off. Oh, here we go. Here's the bigger one. <laughs> See when the paint goes in the grooves? It'll kind of look natural. Again, don't do don't go too crazy. So we've got this like snowy kind of area. I'm adding a little blue. I'm going pretty fast. I'm like see, I'm just leaving some of that space. And then we got all this wet and wet in here. We can try and bleed in some trees too again. So I've got that paint's gray. A little indigo. And we'll just start to tap, 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 tap. Tap up, tap up, and on the side and the bottom. Up. You're going to go down a line, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And we'll have our little trees. Right? Because that's already wet. Keep adding in some more. If you want to add some deeper color in the front, go ahead and do that. Again, a little line. See, I'm just going to put that little line going across. Did that take much effort? Zippo. That was look pretty quick. And I'm going to add a little more color. Some blues. I'm just tapping on some indigo. 
indigo. Again, a little one here, a little one here. You kind of want to go up and down, like so they're bigger and smaller. Maybe make it a little bit taller if you want to. Tap up there. Whoa, it's getting tall. If you want to use the tinier six brush for this, go ahead. But I'm going to fill it in with the grays and some blues. And over here. See this one, I'm going to grab my number six. It needs a little point on this top. And here too. So they look more like the real evergreen trees. Just put a little point, point, and then bleed a little bit. See how I just wiggled? Thicker paint helps. A little point on this one and wiggle. And then you got your evergreen trees. This one's kind of a little wonky. I might have to make him a little bit taller. So it doesn't look kind of silly. And fill in the gaps in this one. Thicker paint here. Wiggle, wiggle. Tippy toe, top, top, top. And a little one here. Thicker paint again on my brush. Going across. Boom. That was a fast mountain. <laughs> And you can add some shadows now that they're drying a little bit on the mountain itself. On this side. Choose one side. I'm just taking the paint, just tippy tapping, kind of putting it on its side. You see that? And then the rest does the work for you, the little grooves. That's our little mountain. See how I'm just using that one side and getting a little bit darker on that one side. Grabbing some more Payne's Gray. Just wiggling the brush. Getting a little bit darker here and here where it meets the other mountain. And just tippy taps going across down here. And that was a fast mountain. And then you can get, you know, add the purple if you wanted to, a little bit of purple. We did that before. In by the snow. Put some down here. Fill this kind of gap in. A little browns. But this took zero effort, I thought, for a mountain and some trees. Simple cards, super easy. You know, same thing if you want to add snow, go add snow. I'm not going to add snow to that one. And then you have two cool winter cards that took really less than 10 minutes to make that a wow, your friends and family. <laughs> I mean, really didn't much effort. When this dries, you can go back in and add like the little twigs if you want to, but I like the, the softness of it. Just a little simple trees. Don't have to go too crazy. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Like you see how simple it can be if you have the right kind of paper to bleed the, you know, the, to bleed all the paint. If you see it bleeding down here, don't fret. Maybe you could scrub while it's still damp. If it's not, you know what? You can cheat a little bit. See how it bled a little bit down here? You just take that white gouache. That's why gouache is so great. It's your best friend. And you can just go, oh wait, the snow is there. And go right over that. And no one would be for the wiser. Boop, 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 boop. Voila. <laughs> I kind of like the bleed, but I'm saying if you wanted to get rid of it, there's a way to do it. And I would go back in and add some of this beautiful purple color tone right in that gouache. Throw in some in there. Some blues. Just change it up a little bit. Voila. And that's that. Two quick winter cards. Very simple. With a lot of bang. Thank you guys for stopping by my channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day and just play. Don't get frustrated. Bleed that color in, out of the little twigs, splatter that, splatter that little gouache and boom. And same thing, you're just bleeding here in the trees. All right, take care and I'll speak to you soon.